Hey you, welcome to Selena Smyer. Today we play the daily challenge for May 2nd, 2022. The character at the Ironclad and the modifier are Heirloom, start with one rare relic. Green cards, green cards now appear rewards in shops. And terminal, whenever you enter a new room, lose one max HP. Start each combat with five plated armor. I see Sita here with 1362, Flick Nickham 1334, and Pelz with 1228. Really good scores, everybody. Let's review the scores from yesterday. So thanks everybody for the comments. So Turbo Andrew ended up with a 1453. That's a really good score. Um, I think the biggest question I had, yeah, I ended up with 1353. So Flick Nickham, as I predicted correctly, uh, basically had a very identical run, just had two more collector bonuses. Um, interestingly, Chef in the Cloud went for, I think the boss relic I picked was Black Star, which allowed me to get enough relics. Um, a few others, including Sita and Chef on the Cloud, went for the Fusion Hammer, which was a good idea. I didn't think of it, but uh, there was, at that point, I think everybody should have had two of the eggs. I think it was Frozen Egg and uh, Toxic Egg. And uh, that made the Fusion Hammer a little more useful because you didn't really need to upgrade things. Um, but then also very interestingly, Chef on the Cloud did, got a different face reward, which uh, I was very surprised by. Um, but yeah, I ended up tying Vorpal and uh, yeah, honestly, Sita, yeah, with 1330. Um, 36 places is not that bad. I did miss a lot of elites. I perfected all the bosses, but missed a lot of the elites. Probably because I like the extra energy. All right, let's move on to today's run. So heirloom, green cards, and terminal. The heirloom relic is great. Tungsten rod, whenever you lose HP, lose one, uh, one less. That's very useful. And then I will try to go for Highlander, of course. I have two colors available. Let's see. So two elite paths generally on the right. Although if I start on the far left, I'll get two question marks, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so I think, I guess between here and here, it's the same path. Rest side elite, regular fight, regular fight, rest side elite. Maybe better to go this way just so I have an upgrade opportunity before the elite. But let's get there first. All right, so uh, I guess I'll just do... I have the plated armor, right? So I can double, uh, triple strike. Okay. And then seven incoming. I can kill this guy. And then should we be able to kill the backliner next turn? Just need two strikes. Okay. All right, Bane, Pummel, Strike, or Headbutt. Unfortunately, Bane is not that useful yet. I don't have any poison. Maybe Pummel Strike is good. Let's take the card draw. Headbutt might have been nice too. Uh sort of have to go for the curses right i have to attempt it yeah let's take it i also got the red skull while your hp is at or below 50 percent, you have three additional strength i'm not sure if i should try to go for that although let's see if i lose a lot of hp so be it uh, who's my final boss by the way guardian okay so not super helpful there between healing and removing a card uh i could remove the curse no let's remove a basic strike actually do i have a shop coming up not really uh, okay, fine. Let's remove a card. Uh, strike is fine. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Let's get rid of this guy. And I'll play the defend just so that I take less damage from the regret. Okay. Eight incoming. Uh, I think it's okay. If I don't defend, I'll only take two damage and I'm healing back at the end anyway. And that allows me to kill easily here. Got an explosive potion, headbutt, bouncing flask, sucker punch. Well, I was looking for poison, and actually, bouncing flask is a pretty good card. Let me take it. The other option is sucker punch, but I'm hoping bouncing flask will help more with the boss. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, let's see. Do I want to curse? Well, let's see what I get. Relic would be nice. Uh, worst, worst outcome ever here. All right, fine. I should be able to heal that. Oh, actually, I only lost six HP. Yeah, I'll definitely heal that back up. All right, got the cultist here. Let's do pummel strike, double strike. Okay. All right, and here I can do bouncing flask and strike. And I'm not taking it. Well, I will take damage from the regret, but none from the cultist, right? Yep, good. And then here I can kill. Okay. All right, die, die, die is an early rare card. It's a great AOE card, but it is very early. And I, I think, ah, oh boy. It will help, especially if I have to fight the sentries. Because right now I don't have any AoE. I think just because it's so powerful, I'll take it. And then if I don't see another good rare uh, rare card, I might remove it. But with uh, red and green cards, um, the after image juggernaut combination is possible. So I kind of want to try for that. Let's also upgrade that right away. I know I said I might want to remove it. I'll still remove it if I don't see another rare card. But uh, do I want to wake him up with the... Uh, Bouncing Flask. I kind of want to at least play a Bash first. 
So I think I'll wait. Okay. All right. Now, unfortunately, I have to draw the mash next turn, which means I can't have another turn. Yeah, you, know, you want? No, I have to do bouncing flask. Yeah, I think this one would be. It's probably impossible to defend. I need to draw a bunch of defensive cards every turn. Yeah, yeah. There's no way I could have defended and perfected this one, unfortunately. All right, I'll take some damage. That's okay. Uh, let's do pummel strike. Uh, let me double defend here. Try to preserve some HP. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's do bouncing flask again. I think the way I'll beat the leg in here is with the poison, unfortunately, because it doesn't look like regular strength will do it. Okay, yeah, let's again continue to defend. I'll do a pummel strike here. Oof, too bad. Another um, bouncing flask would be great, but here I should be able to kill. Okay, rough fight. All right, we got bag operation at the Starvage Combat. Draw two additional cards. Very nice. A fear potion and. I don't discard anything, right? So Sneaky Strike won't be useful. Perfected Strike. I did remove a Strike card, although I do also have a Pummel Strike. I don't think they'll fit this deck, so I don't think I'll take it. Let's take the Sucker Punch for the weakness, then. All right, Nunchaku. Every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy. Very useful. And then I got the Fungi Beasts here. Six incoming. Again, I don't need to defend. Let's just do Triple Strike. Okay. All right. And then 15, let's do die, die, die. Actually, you bash first, then die, die, die. All right. Okay, Thunderclap might work really well with the die, die, die. Let's take it. But then going forward, I should really pick up more defensive cards because uh, right now I don't see a chance to perfect the uh, the, uh, the Guardian. So 9 incoming, I do have to play. Yeah, I have to. Well, actually, I could do something with Mountain Class and Sucker Punch. No, let's do die, die, die. And then I will do Sucker Punch, uh, you, but then, yeah, let's play a defensive card here. Okay. I also have an Explosive Potion that I might be able to use. All right, so I can do Thunderclap, Pummel Strike. And then fully defend with the Defend. Good. And now I just have to draw a defensive card every turn. Uh, so far, so good. Let's do... Actually, can I kill? If I do Thunderclap and Pummel Strike... That's one one off. Okay, no, I can kill here. Uh, well, it doesn't matter, though. You know what? Let me not kill. Let's instead do Sucker Punch you and then defend. That way I can kill. I'm fully defended. I can still kill with the Explosive Push if I have to. But it looks like I don't have to. Awesome. Okay, well, I just need one more attack, though. Good. All right, perfected this one. Got Mango. I'm going to pick up Racer Mesh by 14, as well as a Liquid Bronze Potion. And Hemokinesis is nice. I only lose one HP thanks to the Tungsten Rod, right? And it's a good amount of damage, although I did just say I want to pick up more defensive cards, so maybe second win is the right answer. Okay, fine. Let's take Hemokinesis just because it's so good, but next card, the next card should be a defensive card. All right, let's do Hemokinesis. And then Pummel Strike. And, uh, oof, unfortunate to have regret at the beginning. All right, uh, maybe, should I lose HP? Now I'm thinking maybe I should drop down to below half. It's a little dangerous. Okay, it's actually too dangerous, I think. All right, let's just do Mash and Sucker Punch. And Thunderclap for a kill. No, not a kill. Okay, never mind. I am fully defended here, though. All right. Uh, got a Power Push, which I think I'll take over the Liquid Bronze. That might help me quite a bit. Piercing Whale is a good defensive card. Distraction would work, too, but let's go with the Piercing Whale. Unfortunately, I need more. Uh, gouged and trampled by a horned beast. That is the uh, Gremlin knob, right? Let's let's give it a fight. I got some gold. Yeah, no. I do want to get the relic out of it. Uh, let's start with Bouncing Flask. Okay. Do I want to drink? The actually, no. This one doesn't matter for my perfect, right? So I'm actually totally okay taking damage here. I wouldn't mind dropping to less than half HP, actually. 14. Let's do Thunderclap, Hemokinesis, and uh, Sucker Punch. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'll be able to kill way before I drop down to 14. All right. Okay. We got Magic Flower. Healing is 50% more effective during combat. That makes it even harder to use the Red Skull, unfortunately. An Ancient Potion, which I don't think I'll take. And uh, yeah, let's take Iron Wave again. Need more defensive cards. Not that that's a great one. We got Frozen Egg. Whenever you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. Good. And... I feel like I have to upgrade defensive cards. Sucker Punch is not a bad thing to upgrade. Yeah, see the promise. I only have defense, right? Still, I feel like I need to. It's it's it seems lame, but I feel like I need to upgrade defend or should I upgrade an Iron Wave. I'm basically worried about the turn when I have twenty incoming. 
Maybe I'll upgrade to Sucker Punch to have some weakness. It's going to be rough. I, I don't see a good way to perfect this one. Unless the power pushing gives you something good. Uh, heal no pain. Heal no pain is the only thing remotely defensive and unfortunately only trigger twice. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Uh, rupture. That will only trigger for the pain, uh, for the regret and the hemokinesis. I mean, that's still better than nothing. All right, let's do rupture. And then at least I can weaken, so that's good. So I'll do bash and sucker punch and a strike. Oh, actually, that'll transform. That way he'll be weakened next turn. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. All right, six and coming. I got the uh, piercing whale. Actually, if I don't def if I don't play anything at all, I'll be fully defended. So let's just skip this turn. Next turn, I have sixteen though, and I only have ten, fifteen. No, I have less than that, right? Because I lose. Ah, yeah, that's unfortunate. I needed another regular defend or a piercing whale, but I didn't get it. So uh, let's just do defend and then bouncing flask. Yeah, it's it would have been very difficult to perfect this one. I I wasn't offered that many defensive cards. I think that was that was the ultimate problem. Uh, let's do sucker punch here, pummel strike, and I'll do iron wave. Okay. All right, and then let's do another bouncing flash. That should definitely help, and I can transform with a strike. Okay. Alright, since I'm not perfecting anymore, I do want to play things like Hemokinesis more often. Let's also do... Uh, should I have done Bash? No, it's fine. Let's do Die to Die. And then... Actually, that, that was dumb. I should have done Thunderstrike first. Would have dealt way more damage that way. Okay, 16. Let's double defend and Iron Wave. Okay. Yeah, almost all my plated armor is gone at this point. Uh, Hemokinesis and uh, Bouncing Flask will make me take a bunch of... Well, hang on. No, let's do Bouncing Flask. Alright, and then Pummel Strike. Actually, that'll allow me to not take damage this turn, and then next turn he'll be dead. Yeah, I needed, like, a Shrug It Off, maybe a better time Piercing Whale. There's more things I needed to be able to perfect this one. Unfortunate. Brutality, Feed, or Demon Form has to be Feed, right? And I'm sort of going to give up on Popper. Let's take the Feed, try to counteract the loss of Max HP with the Terminal as much as possible. Sort of have to go for Calling Bell here, too. I'm going to pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. Yeah, that should definitely help. Both with the relics and with the curses. we got Curse of the Bell, as well as Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Matrash got an X2 bus chest you open, contain two relics. And old coin up and pick up, gain 300 gold. That's actually kind of nice. Lots of gold to spend. Would like to see a shop to use it in. Three lead path. Yeah, middle and then turn right. Uh, if I start on the left, I'll get two early question mark rooms and then another third and fourth. And then I can decide to go for a fifth question mark room or a shop. If I haven't seen a shop until then, I might decide to go for a shop because hopefully one of the question mark rooms will be a shop though. I will try aggressively to use the feed as much as possible. Let's start with bouncing flask and defend. Yeah, that way I'll avoid taking damage. I'll just have to deal with the damage from the regret. Right, I do have to be careful with the poison. It'll be a little difficult to trigger the or to play the feed on the right turn, but I should definitely give it a try. Let's do that at I, Iron Wave, and Strike. Okay. All right, so I only have two more turns with the poison. Let's see if I can draw the feed. Okay. If I don't kill here, I'll take a lot of damage, and there's it's still not guaranteed I'll get the feed next turn. All right, fine. Let's just kill. All right. Okay, infinite blades pre-upgraded. Do I want this innate in my open hand? I mean, it's not a bad idea. Armaments would be the other good option for defense and to upgrade everything else. Let me go with the armaments. Yeah, I think I think armaments might be better. I'm I'm th sort of thinking to be able to upgrade the feed. And I did say I was going to go for highlight right, so I shouldn't take the apparition event. Yeah, let's skip this one. Also, end up with way too little max HP. Although. Yeah, hard to say. Let me know in the comments if you want for the apparitions. I hope I made the right decision there. Uh, let's do Hemokinesis, and then I can fully defend if I just double defend here. Okay. I do have an explosive potion that I can use, but um, I think I can get by without it. All right, da 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 is nice. Uh, I can do Sucker Punch, then Iron Wave. 
I will take a little bit of damage now. Actually, no, if I do Iron Wave and Strike, I won't take any damage because this guy will be on the ground. Okay. All right. Uh, so here, let's do Armaments. And I can't... I mean, yeah, there's no reason to, right? Let's let's play the Piercing Well. And uh, I mean, no reason to lose HP. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so if I do... Am I being... Yeah, let's do Armaments. I need to actually... Wait, I just realized I had Tungsten Rod. I shouldn't have been so worried. But yeah, this way I'll still take one damage. But that's fine. Let's get Thunderclap out. Kill the Backliner. Okay. Yeah, with Thunder uh, Thun Tungsten Rod, I should not have been worried at all against the 1 times 5 incoming. Ooh, can I use Feed here? I would like that. Yeah, so let's do... Let's do Bash and Feed. Okay, getting a little bit of max HP out of this. And then here I can get this guy to the ground. Although, it's not enough to kill, right? Uh, okay, it is enough to kill. Good. Alright, Deadly Poison Piercing Well, Shrug It Off. Yeah, already half this. Let's go with the Shrug It Off. Good defensive card. Um, Definitely want to choose a card. What should that be? Still not Feel No Pain. Still don't have anything. Actually, Blade Dance would not be a bad idea. Rage is fine. Battle Transfer the card draw. But I don't have extra energy, so the card draw is not super important. I think Blade Dance is the right approach here. Let's take it. Yep. And now, actually, if I see Feel No Pain, that's not a bad pickup at this point. Can I kill somebody somehow? Um, so 10, 27, and this would be another 12, right? So that's 39. Uh, fine, just to make my life easier, let me... No, 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 I shouldn't use potions for non-elite fights. Yeah, I'll just shuffle back to the feed. Let's do die da die Sucker Punch, that way I don't take any damage. And then Blade Dance. And uh, let's do the Shivs. Okay. Yeah, I could have used the Explosive Push and tried to kill... Or killed this guy with the Feed, but I think that would have been unnecessary. Just, you know, hopefully that potion will be better used for a uh, for an Elite fight. Okay. Nine incoming. Let's do Pummel Strike. Um... I'll do armaments. Should have probably done that first in a regular strike. Okay. 20. Uh, that's a lot of incoming. Uh, let's do... Oof. I mean, I might lose some damage. I guess the more damage I, the more damage I take, uh, the more I'll... Or the more likely I'll use the red skull. So maybe it's not that bad of an idea. Alright. 15. It's almost like I want to take... Uh, I want to... You know, take damage on purpose here. Let's do another Bouncing Flash, sure. Uh, now, the chance of me being able to use the feed be are getting more, well, less and less likely. Yeah, I sort of need to draw it here, otherwise I'll take a bunch of damage. Let me see if I draw it now. Nope, nope. Actually, wait, if I do Piercing Whale, is that going to be enough? Actually, no, they're, they're both dead from the poison, right? Yeah, I'm not doing a good job with feed. We got Entropic Brew, that's really good. Okay, you want? I think now I'll take the infinite blades. I don't think I need the other two. Alright, right, let's charge is fine. Let's go with the infinite blades. I think that's better. All right, yeah, this is where I wanted. I would want to use the explosive potion. Okay, so I do have a lot of incoming and not much I can do about that. Let me drink this, throw this, and then see if this gives me anything good. Okay, colors potion one, master of strategy. The bomb is great. It's not going to help me right now. I need something that helps that helps me right now. So I think I'll take finesse and hope for something good defensively. I will also drink the other one. I mean, dramatic entrance is not bad. Again, it's not gonna save me. Uh, so if I do thunderclap, then dramatic entrance. Hang on, hemokinesis twenty two damage. Uh, let's do dramatic entrance first. Okay, then hemokinesis. All right, and then. So I have seven already. Yeah, I don't think there's a way I can fully defend, unfortunately, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Which is a shame because I spent so many... Uh, I, I use so many potions. Yeah, the best I can do is to play this defend, which uh, still makes me lose one HP. Actually, no, two HP. No, no, just one, just one. Yeah, one thanks to the Tanks and Rod. What a shame. I, I think, yeah, I, I mean... It was a stretch to try to perfect this one, but it definitely would have been possible if I maybe had the die-die-die on turn one. Okay. 
All right, at least I can use the feed here, so that's a plus. Uh, let's do strike, double defend. Okay. And then 18 should be doable here. Yep. All right. We have calipers at the start of your turn. Lose 15 block rather than all few block. Not super useful for me, but I mean, fine to have. Flying knee is pretty good. I don't think I'll take searing blow. I would need way more rest sets for that. Okay, transform a card. So transforming might give me a duplicate. But I think I'm okay transforming a strike. I feel like I picked up way too many offensive cards. So let's try to see, get something better out of it. Catalyst. Oof. Not really the poison, the, the card I was looking for, but... I mean, I can try to get use for it. All right, Piercing Whale is a great draw on turn one. Uh, let me actually upgrade every... No, no, no. Uh, hang on. So I do want to play the Dinded Eye, and I want to play Piercing Whale and Armaments and Infinite Blades, but I have to choose. So let's do Piercing Whale, then Dinded Eye, and then I'll do Infinite Blades. Okay. All right. I have incoming, but I should be able to kill this guy. So let's do Shiv Strike. And I'll do Bouncing Flask. That way I guarantee that all the poison applies to the Grumman Leader. Okay, not getting attacked here. That's good. Let's do Thunderclap, Pummel Strike, and Sucker Punch in case... I oh, wait. There's no reason not to play the Shiv. Forgot about that. I guess maybe that was smart. I didn't trigger the Bag of Preparation. Although, yeah, not, not definitely not my intention. Uh, so let's do Flying Knee Bash. And then Shiv is not enough, right? Well, actually, I can do... Hang on. I should try to kill the minions just so I avoid... Um, just so avo Or increase the chance of not being attacked next turn. That didn't work out. 36 incoming. I can weaken him down to 27. But that's still a lot to defend against. Can I kill somehow? So this is 12, 16. Um, this is another 9, which is 25, 35. Not even close. Not even close. I can only depend against 15, even with the weakness. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do, right? All right, fine. Let's do Sucker Punch, Blade Dance, play all these shivs. Maybe if I had the Cultist Potion at the beginning, that might have made a difference. But again, impossible to predict that. I, uh, I guess, yeah, I don't know if it's impossible to predict, but difficult to predict. How about that? All right, at least I can kill here. Okay. All right, so here we got Preserved Insect. Enemies, enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP. That's really useful. Would have helped me in all of the Elites fights so far. Between Caltrops, Bouncing Flask... Well, I can't take Bouncing Flask. So Poison Stab and Caltrops. Uh, Caltrops would be better if I had a very defensive deck, which I don't. So let's take the Poison Stab. And then going this way for the next Elite. A Letter Opener. That's nice. Every time I play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. And Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. That's very useful, especially with the Hemokinesis. All right, Snake Plant with 21 incoming and very little that I can do about that. Uh, so let me do Defend, Flying Knee, and I'll do Infinite Blades here. Okay. Yeah, taking a bunch of damage, although here I'm not getting attacked, so I could do Bouncing Flask and Catalyst, right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Not a lot of poison, but a good amount. Let's do Shiv and... St Wait, if I do Shiv and Strike, I'll deal a total of uh, 7. If I do Strike and Shiv, it's still 7, right? Okay. Alright, 21. Uh, definitely... Ooh, I forgot to use Feed last turn. Uh, can I use it now? I'm weakened to the right. Yeah, only... No, I don't have enough. Uh, in that case, let's do Sucker Punch, and then I'll do Iron Wave. And unfortunately, I can't really... Is there a way I can shuffle back to the feed? It's going to be difficult. Let's not rely on that. Okay. All right. I still have a blood potion, so I'm not too worried about losing too much HP. Uh, although, let me play a few cards so that I don't have to. Oh, no, mind, he's dead. All right. Sever Soul, Blade Dance, and Venom. And Venom is interesting because I do have enough strikes and i might i mean with the catalyst it might not be a bad idea it's pre-upgraded too it might not be a bad idea to try to um apply for or apply more poison let's try that sever so will be the other good idea but let's 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 give this a try pre-upgraded venom is generally pretty good okay one more try so 27 um yeah this one this one looks like i have even less a chance of perfecting so most at most I can only defend against twenty. So I would I would have to kill one of these, and the least damage I have to do is well actually no I'd have to kill and then also 
Well, I have to kill with zero energy, which seems unlikely. All right, fine. Let's not even get, uh, try. Let's do Venom, Infinite Blades, and I'll play one defend. Why not? Okay. All right. At least Piercing Will is a good thing to have here. Can I use the feet somehow? Hemokinesis. I think with Thunderclap and Hemokinesis, I could, but then I'll take a bunch of damage. But I think that's okay. So Hemokinesis is 20, and then feed... Uh, feed would kill. Too bad I can't upgrade it, but yeah, let's let's kill this guy with feed, and then I'll do shiv. I'm not dead here, right? Yeah, I'm only taking 19 damage. I'll keep the blood potion for when I actually have to use it. Okay. Alright, and then here, let's do poison stab, shiv. Oh, actually, don't even need to use the catalyst on this guy. Ah, too bad I can't use b bouncing flask. I'll wait. Okay, a little too late. Yeah, the Dida is not really showing up when I wanted to. Should be able to kill here, right? Yeah, especially with the extra strength from Red Skull. That Singing Bowl, when adding cards into your deck, you may erase your max HP by two instead, as well as a skill potion. And upgraded Deflect is not a bad idea because I don't have extra energy. Acrobatics would be also good, but if I had extra energy. If I don't, I think this is the right choice. All right, Sneko. Let's start with Infinite Blades, uh, Flying Sleeves, and Blade Dance because I have extra strength and a Pommel Strike. Should have probably played the Pommel Strike first. Okay. Too bad I had to get rid of the Venom there. 15. All right. Free Bouncing Flask. Thunderclap is cheap. Shiv, Strike, Iron Wave. That was a really good randomization from the Confusion. Okay. And actually, next turn he's dead, right? Uh, can I draw the Feet somehow? It is in my deck, but I don't have the card draw, so fine. Let's just kill. Okay. All right. Uh, Warcry, Slice, or Poison Stab. I don't really want any of these. I mean, if I had to, I would pick the Warcry. Yeah, fine. Let's take it. All right. Rest side or shop? Or, uh, sorry, a question mark room or shop? Uh, let's go with the shop. I have a lot of gold to spend. Ooh, this is actually totally worth it, right? Wing boots, you may ignore path into the next room to travel to three times. That hopefully will allow me to get even more elites uh, on the next act, I guess. Not on this act, right? Yeah. Um, let's take backflip here. Adrenaline is pretty decent. So is Flash of Steel. Actually, Thread and Needle is also really good. Sardish Khan with four plated armor together with the terminal. That's nine plated armor. That that might be a huge help. Do I want an innate brutality? It won't take it won't deal any damage because of tungsten rod. Might be a good idea. Okay. And yeah, I'll save the goal. I'll save the goal for the next shop. Okay, burden chosen. Again, opening hand feed, which is going to be very difficult to use. But um, let's see. If I do hemokinesis feed, can I get this guy to the ground? Let me try that. Let's do thunderclap. Then draw with the hemokinesis. Then get this guy to the ground with a strike, and then kill with a feed. Right. Okay, so I'll take some damage from the... Actually, no, mind. I won't take any damage because of the deflect. Actually, I wouldn't have taken any damage because of the plate armor either, right? All right, so about that, let's do armaments here. Flying knee and uh, the blade dance. Okay. All right. And then another 10 incoming. Yeah, probably fine to do in Venom. Yep. And then poison snap, sucker punch. And uh, I guess let's see what the backflip gives me. I uh, probably don't need to play the rest. Mm, 20 incoming. Let's do die to die, pummel strike, and um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, deflect, perfect the strike, bullet time. I already have a deflect, probably don't want to perfect the strike. And what about bullet time? Uh, it would only be useful on turn one, right? I do have a few high cost cards, but I don't think Pommel Strike is, or not Pommel Strike, Bullet Time is worth it. So let me actually take the max HP here. Okay. And I'm, yeah, more than half HP at this point, so won't have the extra strength. Uh, let's upgrade, maybe Bouncing Flask, maybe Catalyst. Especially if I get the Invent and Plate, I think having an upgrade Catalyst will make a big difference. Okay. I feel like I should use the Cultus Pushni. Otherwise, I'm going to just keep it forever. So, might as well get some use out of it. Let's do Brutality. And then I'll do Thunderclap, Sucker Punch, and Infinite Blades. Okay. Yeah, too bad I had to draw cards there. 13. Okay. Um, actually, I already have 9 plate armor, so 1 defend will be enough, right? Yeah, let's do Hemokinesis. 
Okay. So, wait. Oh, right. I just dropped to less than half HP. That's good. And then I can do Shiv. I have to do the Defend. And then let's do Blade Dance. And that will not trigger the uh, Nunchaku just yet. That's fine. Alright, I should be able to trigger Nunchaku now, though. But um, I definitely don't want to play the Catalyst until there's, well, at least some poison. So let's do Shiv. Dada is pretty good. And uh, let me see what the backflip gives me. Yeah. Hmm. I should do Pummel Strike and 7 Armaments, okay? A little worried about a turn where I can't defend. Okay, now I'm getting a debuff, so let's do Bouncing Flask, Shiv. Then, um, I think I'll do War Cry. And I, oh, Catalyst. Should I, you know what? Yeah, let's do it now. Let's put the Iron Wave back in case I need to defend, and then just do Catalyst here. Okay, 36 is a good amount of poison. Should get him to transform faster. Okay, not getting attacked again. Uh, also, not a great hand. Let's upgrade a bunch of stuff and then Shiv, Iron Wave, and just wait. Ooh, actually, okay, so I won't get attacked next turn. That was like three turns in a row of not being attacked. Unfortunately, it does mean next turn I will get attacked by quite a lot, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, let's do Thunderclap, Sucker Punch, Shiv, and I'll do Pummel Strike. Mm -hmm. 100 damage but no more poison or weakness. So, uh, and 44 incoming. At least I'm not vulnerable, so that's good. I have to see what the skill potion gives me. Disarm, exhume. What is exhume gonna give me? Another, no, catalyst is useless. The da 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 are pretty useless, or the da da da. I guess I'll do this arm. That's the best of these. Okay. Uh, still 40 incoming. Um, and I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Uh, let's do, let's just play everything. Kinesis, Shiv, play the Deflect, Poison Stab, Blade Dance, and Defend. And, oh, that was enough. Wait, why did I have 9 Strength? The, the, the Cultist Potion. That's what did it. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm glad I was able to kill. Did not expect to perfect this one. Have to admit, got a little lucky there. Reaper, Corpse Explosion, or da da die. I already have this one. So between these two, let's take the Corpse Explosion because that might give me an opportunity to get the Overkill modifier. And then I would love extra energy, um, which I don't have, actually. I just realized none of these is extra energy. Do I want Snake Eye? Um, in terms of zero-cost cards, I just have the Deflect and Brutality and Warcry. And for high-cost cards, I have Corpse Explosion, the Bash, and Bouncing Flask. So it's pretty evenly split. The extra card draw is nice, but I'm not I'm, I'm not really feeling that. I think I don't really need Black Star, right? Because I'm pretty sure I should be able to get um, at least three. Actually, with Matroshka, I'm, I feel like I should be able to get five relics. So let's go with the Sacred Bark. Double the effect is the of a potions. Uh, it's a little risky. I'd be interested to see if people did better with the Snake Eye, but I'm, I'm hoping to keep the run more consistent by not having Snake Eye. I know some people really hate that relic. I mean, it's, it can be useful, but... Also a little, yeah, un inconsistent, as I mentioned. All right, uh, multiple two lead paths. Um, they all merge here. So up until this point, I can get there on the left, which gives me two question marks and a shop. Uh, in the middle, which gives me one question mark and no shop. Or on the right, which gives me three question marks and no shop. Uh, because there's no later shop, well, it's not like I have a lot of gold. Yeah, maybe let's go the three question mark route. I also have two curses. I wouldn't mind seeing another. I mean, it's theoretically possible seeing another three. Let's do Brutality, everybody's attacking me, so let me do Sucker Punch the strongest. Defend, Deflect, and Poison Snap. Okay. I am taking a little bit of damage here. Okay, probably should do Bouncing Flask to make it... Uh, well, it's not like I have better defensive cards. And again, I still have the Blood for Blood. And actually, I'm thinking uh, in the last boss fight, the Red Skull helped me so much that it would be good to try to trigger it again. I did, do have the Awakened one at the end. have to be a little careful with what powers I want to play. Yeah, this is perfect for Corpse Explosion, actually. Let's do that. And then... Oh, should I have upgraded first? I probably should have upgraded first. Let's actually do Piercing Well instead here. Okay. Alright, and then just need a little bit of damage here. Ye oh, I thought... I don't think I can use Feed here, right? Oh, well, I can do Catalyst, though. And then, uh, yeah, it doesn't really... Oh, actually, I do need to deal damage to the backliner. Otherwise, uh, he won't die. Yep, this is exactly enough. Good. All right. 
Slice prepared to flex. Because I still don't have extra energy, let's go with the slice. All right. Oh, I forgot I have the... Uh, oh, I completely forgot about the um, wing boots that I spent so much gold on. Oh, yeah. I went... I took the wrong path. If I uh, if I remember doing boots, I would have gotten a less them jump jump over. Uh, actually, I guess I don't need to use wing boots. Okay, so to maximize elites, I only need to use it once. But because A, I went on the wrong path, and B, because I can, I think what I can do is uh, jump over, well, now, and then do two question marks in a shop, then elite, jump over for a second time. Uh, no, I can't jump over a third time then. What if I... Go on the left here, jump over once, then jump over somewhere else. Maybe go... No, no, I'm trying to think. Yeah, okay, I thought about it. So I think that even if I started correctly on the left, the most I could have done is one, two question marks here, then a shop, then one elite, jump over for a second elite. Then I still have two jumps left, right? So I can do one more jump here and then jump back. And the only reason for the jump is an extra question mark room. Yes, so that's, that's I think, the best I could have done, which would have given me a total of one, two, three, four question mark rooms. And then if I... but So what I did incorrectly here, I started on the right. So I think what I'll do now is I'll jump over now. So I'll already waste a jump. Get one, two question mark, shop, elite, jump over for a second time, and then basically just miss one. one. Oh, actually, and then no. And then instead, instead of doing two jumps, I'll go here, then turn left for another question mark room, then jump over again. So effectively, it's the same. Let me know in the comments if there's a better way. I guess it depends on people who were able to get the wing boots at the same time I did. I don't think there is. Basically, I don't think there's a way to either... Well, at most, you can get three elites on this act. But I don't think there's a way to even get more question mark rooms. So yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's jump over now and then go on the left. So I'm glad that even though I made a mistake, it didn't end up affecting anything. All right, let's do brutality... Uh, I think I'll do Flying Knee uh, and Corpse Explosion and Infinite Blades. Okay. Alright, 13. Uh, let's do Thunderclap, Shiv, Die to Die, Iron Wave, and Catalyst. Okay. Oh, I should really try to use Defeat more often, huh? Not really letting myself ha have the opportunity. Although, hang on, 22. I think I can kill here. Nope. Oh, I messed up. I can't believe I messed up. Oh, that was really dumb. Yeah, because I should have done the hemokinesis first. I thought ah, I should have just done calculation. That was really bad. Got a colorless potion, backflip armaments, or seeing blow. Did I have a backflip? I did, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not upgraded. So I already have the armaments too. Let's take the max HP here. At least there's one way to get max HP. Okay. I really like the in Venom. Between defend and strike, I'm worried I don't have enough defensive cards. So let's remove a basic strike. Okay. And, uh, no, I have a shop right after this, right? So I don't want to lose this much gold or just one relic. Uh, unfortunately, Chemical X is not that useful. I do need a relic, though, right? Because I only have 20 right now. I'm guaranteed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, you know, maybe I don't need relics because I'm guaranteed enough. So maybe instead I should focus on cards. So Choke is good. Let's take that. Metal says it's pre-upgraded. Let's take that. And then I think I'll do Cloak and Dagger... And maybe a potion, like a strength potion. Yeah, I think that's that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, gold spending there. All right, giant head not getting attacked. Let's do brutality, metallicize, infinite blades, and sucker punch. Okay. All right, nine incoming. Uh, definitely too soon for the catalyst. Uh, let's just do yeah. Let's just play the attack. So uh, one, two. Yeah, let's just do shiv. Uh, actually, I guess I can play one defense. Yep. And then Poison Stab, Iron Wave, and die, die, die. Yeah, I was hoping to deal more damage with the slow debuff, but that didn't really help a lot. Okay. Alright, definitely not going to be able to use the feed here. Uh, let's do Corpse Explosion, uh, Shiv, Slice, and then Blade Dance. Should have played the Blade Dance first, of course. Okay. All right, so, yeah, let's definitely do... Actually, I don't think I need armaments here. Let's just do Venom, Deflect, and then play the attacks. Actually, I... Uh, well, hang on. If I do armaments, it's not going to be enough. Let me just do Flying Knee and then keep the Nunchaku for next turn. Although, with regret, I'll have to draw things anyway. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I had to draw the choke there, right? All right, 30 incoming. Anything I can do about that? 
Seems unlikely. Let me see what the Colorless Potion can give me. Two Discoveries is not a bad idea. Let's see what they each give me. Adrenaline is good. And uh, yeah, let's take a... Actually, do I need Feel No Pain? That might allow me to defend, right? More so than the Choke would allow me to deal 260 damage. So let's take the Feel No Pain. I'll do that. Then Adrenaline. Okay. All right. Well, I got a Choke either way. So let's do Choke, then Shiv. Let's do uh, Piercing Wheel. So I already have 27. Yeah, I'm fully defended. Uh, so I probably should have done the Bash first. No, let me do Bouncing Flask because that might be a way for me. Or that might help for once I draw the Catalyst again. Okay. All right, 35. I do have the Field of Pain. So Blade Dance will help me with blocks. So would Warcry. And Sucker Punch will also help me with defense. So let's do Shift first, then Warcry. Shrug it off is not a bad idea, but let me do Blade Dance first. Okay, more Shivs. So I'm up to 28, and then Sucker Punch alone is actually going to be enough. Let's do Sucker Punch and then Catalyst. Okay, 72. That'll actually kill... No, it won't kill next turn. I need a little bit extra, but I think I have that extra. So let's do uh, Armaments, Thunderclap, Slice, and Shift. Okay, somehow perfected this one. I uh, didn't use the feed, though. If I if I am critical of my play, I didn't use a feed. Got War Paint. I'm going to pick up a quick two random skills. Let me first see what I get here. This arm is really good. Let's take it. And then War Paint gives, upgrades the Corpse Explosion, which is nice, and a regular defend. All right, so I'll jump over a second time here. All right, Reptomancer. Let's do Brutality. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think if I should try for go for card draw. Pummel Strike. I might have trouble. You know what? Let's see what the backflip gives me. Okay, Hemokinesis will give me card draw, so let's do that. I should have considered drinking the Strength Potion. Now that I think about it. Um, Yeah, let's do Iron Wave. The lack of energy is really hurting me, I think. I, I will consider drinking the Strength Potion still. Alright, yeah, everybody's attacking me. I am not in a good place here. I do need to kill this guy. Uh, let's do Warcry first. Uh, put this back. And then, you know what? I'm going to drink the Strength Potion here because I have the Blade Dance. So, two hits. If I drink another Strength Potion, one hit would hit kill this guy. But then I still have twenty nine or 39 to deal with. Even if I play both defense, uh, that is 13 plus another 16. That'll be 29. But then the backline is still alive and I can't get rid of it, right? So I'll be 12, 24. Wait, is that? Oh, that will be enough. Okay, I think I can I can fully defend if I do shiv, shiv, shiv. And then defend, defend. I think that's right, right? 29, 30? Yeah, I don't take any damage, okay? And then let's do corpse explosion. A little too soon for catalyst, but I'm worried I'm not being able to shuffle back to it. So let's try it. Okay, another bunch incoming here. Let's do... Uh, wait, hang on. Let's do Piercing Well first. Okay, so 17. I have 9 plus uh, Defend is 15. Unless I can somehow kill the Backliner, which with all the strength I have, I'm pretty sure I can. Let's do Thunderclap and Flying Knee. No, 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 no. I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Uh, I thought I had extra energy. Well, I now that I think about it, I don't think there was a chance for me to perfect, but... Ah, uh, boy. Yeah, I messed up. I, I thought I would have... I needed one extra energy, and yeah, that's a problem. Act 3 with only 3 energy is difficult. Uh, let's do Choke, Bash, and Slice. And that should kill. Yeah, a little unfortunate there. Especially because I use potions. We got Gear Yukon. I gain strength at rest sites up to 3 times. As well as Max HP. Maybe not a huge fan of any of these cards. All our attack might be fine. Yeah, fine. Let's take it. Another AOE card wouldn't hurt. All right, going straight, then turning left, then jumping over for the last time. Okay. All right, transient. Let's do brutality. Uh, should I have done choke first? Not sure if that would have helped. Uh, actually, I might not help at all. Uh, it's still fine. Let's do choke and then sucker punch. Actually, that way I'm fully defended. Okay. 
All right, 30 incoming. Yeah, it's going to be impossible to use the feet here, so might as well uh, play it. Okay. 50. Oof. Would like to apply poison, but uh, doesn't look good with how much damage I have incoming. Uh, let's do poison stab. Uh, cloak and dagger shiv all at attack. That way I can play one more card like a defend, but uh, eh, still taking 9 damage. Actually, it's less than that, right? I forgot about the poison that I already applied. Let's do Venom, Deflect, Blade Dance. Play these shivs. And then uh, let's do Warcry. Uh, probably put the Pummel Strike back and Iron Wave. Yep, still have quite a bit of incoming there. I Well, I guess I might trigger the Red Skull. Uh, might not be a bad idea. So let's do Armaments. Slice Pummel Strike. Should have done the Pummel Strike first. Definitely not disarm, right? I'll probably do... Yeah, strike does more... Helps me more than the defend would have. Okay. Well, yeah. I triggered the Red Skull. We got a Colorless Potion. And Heavy Blade with all the strength I have and will have is not a bad idea. Let's take it. Okay, Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. And strike dummy cards containing strike deal three additional damage. Yeah, both are fine. Uh, let me actually gain strength here. Yeah, I think, I think that's important, especially now that I have a Heavy Blade. Okay. Duplicate a card in your deck. Uh, I am going for Highlander, so I can't duplicate things. So let's move on. And then go left and then turn over. Uh, obviously, I didn't get enough curses, so that's a little disappointing. Let's do Infinite Blade. Uh, Metallicize and Poison Stab just set up all my powers. Alright, 5 incoming, I'm luckily fully defended. Uh, let's do Bash, die, die, die. In energy to play a Blade Dance. Okay. Huh? Uh, yeah, definitely want to do in Venom. Let's do Hemokinesis, see what I get. Alright, Slice, Sucker, Punch, and Shiv. Okay. Maybe I should play the Flying Sleeves more often if energy is my problem. 21, this is with weakness. Yeah, I don't have any good defensive cards, so I think I'll do Choke, Cloak, and Dagger. Shiv, Shiv, and uh, definitely not Catalyst, at least not yet. Let's just do a basic strike. Okay. Alright, 24. A little worried here. Let's do Armaments, Shiv. Should I do Bouncing Flask? No, let me... Hang on, let's do Warcry. Let me put the Bouncing Flask back and actually do Disarm. Actually, that way I'll be fully defended. Good. Okay. Alright, so now I think Heavy Blade is 34. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's just do uh, here. Shiv, Heavy... Uh, let me do Pummel Strike first. Yeah, in case I got something great, but no, I got a Regret instead. Okay. It's not that much damage left, and I know I still have a Feed in my draw pile. Although... Hang on. Can I kill here? I need 31, right? Yeah, so I think I have to do Flying flying Knee, Shiv, and then 18 damage. Uh, all Actually, not 18. Like, all attack would be enough. All right. Okay, so Deadly Poison, Escape Plan, Dagger Spray. Dagger Spray with the extra strength would be nice. Um, escape Plan might help with block, but let's go with the Dagger Spray. All right, last jump, last elite. Jan head again. So let's do the powers first, and then yeah, let's let's start with the poison. I think that should definitely help, especially if I can get a good catalyst out. Uh, yeah, in venom, bouncing flask again, focusing on the poison. Okay. Thirteen. So disarm would allow me to be fully defended here. Let's do that. I don't think I'll need choke here. Let's instead do. Should I see what I draw with him? Because he said no. Let's do thunderclap. And then play the shivs. Alright. Okay. And then heavy blade is not a lot of damage. Oh, because I healed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, in that case, let's get a little bit more poison in before playing the catalyst. By maybe doing something like... Uh, Iron wave, die to die. And then catalyst. Okay, 72, yeah, that's not too bad. Almost as much as I had the last time I fought the giant head, right? Although, let's try to defend here if I can. 
Well, let me do backflip first. Okay, how can I defend? So I have 14. Let's do Warcry. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I put back, but let's put the Regret back. And then do Deflect 21. This would be 26. That would be enough, right? So a single defend is enough. Or should I also do Metallica? No, no, I think I should be able to kill. Let me just make sure. This is 26. Yeah, perfect. So I can do Shiv, Slice... Flying Knee and Dagger Spray, and then the poison should be enough to kill next turn. Good. And I, honestly, I'm, I'm surprised I'm able to perfect the uh, Giant Head. I did not expect that. Uh, let's do... Yeah, too bad I can't use the feed, but perfecting is more important. Okay. Alright, we got Akabika. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage, and that's my 25th Relic, as well as Heart of Iron. That's really good. 12 metallicized together with the Sacred Bark and the 9 plated Armor. That's really nice. That might actually allow me to perfect the boss. I already have these two, and I don't think I take bullet time, so let's take the max HP. And unfortunately, I also healed back to more than half max, uh, half HP, so I'm going to miss out on the extra strength. All right, so here against the Writhing Mass, I'm, I think I'm just going to try to focus on poison as much as I can. So let's do Invenom, Armaments, that should allow me to be fully defended, and then Infinite Blades and Brutality, just setting up here. Okay. 21. Oh, this arm is great. I could do this arm and piercing well, right? That'll make my life easier. Uh, sure, although let me deal some damage. Let's do an Akibiku Dagger Spray. Okay. And then Sucker. No, if I do Sucker Punch, I might take damage. Uh, let's do. Let's just do Defend. Full of Defend here. Okay. Alright, 7 incoming. Heavy Blade is worth it, though. Let's do that. And then 12, uh, I can again fully defend with the defend. Yeah, let's just be careful. I don't want to take too much damage, and I also don't want to get a curse. Yeah, so for example, here, I should do Metallicize and Corpse Explosion. I guess I could have done Bouncing Blast, but Corpse Explosion is effectively the same amount of poison. Now he's trying to give me a curse, which I would like to avoid. So let's do Choke and Shiv. Okay. And then 29, that is also something I would like to avoid. So let's do Poison Stab. And 7 is something I am okay with. So let's war cry and I'll put the all out attack back and I'll accept the damage from the regret. Okay. 18. Let's do deflect. Uh, I guess I can. Let's do flying sleeves first. Then I can play the shiv and then maybe another strike. Okay again and uh, I am fully defended so let's not risk it and now I'm basically just waiting for the catalyst uh, there it is uh, yeah although let me maybe do heavy blade first oh that's not even good well let's do heavy blade and then shiv uh, 18 I have only 13 so I could do iron wave and I hope that's not going to give me a curse Oh, it is going to give me a curse, so I can't do the Catalyst. Eh, fine, I'll do that. Today. Using uh, Catalyst to gain, to deal with this quickly is unfortunately delayed a little bit. Uh, 12 incoming, I can do Cloak and Dagger. And uh, you know what? Let me just attack a little bit. As long as I have still some attacks that I can use to deal more damage, I should be fine. Almost Strike. Okay, and then Sucker Punch. Yep, this way I'm not taking any damage, and he'll be dead with the poison. Alright, that took me a little too long. Ooh, 55 minutes. Let me see if I can get this in less than an hour. That would be ideal. Okay. Alright, we've got a Fear Pusher, which I don't think I'll take. Slice, uh, probably don't need any of these. Let's go with the max HP. Okay, and then more strength. Alright, so. I have uh, less than 4 minutes. Uh, I have to be a little careful with the powers. I might consider not playing any of those. Let's drink this for sure. Then do Deflect, Thunderclap, Poison Stab. I might consider... Let's do Plate Dance here. I might consider playing the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, should I do Shrug It Off? I don't have to. Uh, yeah, let's not do it. I might consider playing the Invenom. Because that, I think, will help in general. But let's get there first. Yeah, I sort of have to play it, right? Uh, let's do Invenom Metallicize. Wait, hang on. 27, I have 18 plus... I am in trouble. 
So let's do the die die die. Okay. All out attack will kill the other minion. Good. So I can do metallicize and then all out attack. All right. So that way I am fully defended. Ah, look at that. I have 25 block and by just doing nothing, which is really amazing. Sucker punch 24. I said I have 25, right? So I don't I don't even have to defend. I can just do heavy blade and then war cry uh, corpse explosion, which I would like to play if I can next turn. Yeah, never mind. Forgot about the uh, centennial puzzle being triggered by the regret. All right, 16, I'm fully defended, so let's do... Actually, let's apply poison, so let me do Bouncing Flask and Dagger Spray. Okay. All right, only two more minutes. I'm a little worried. 22, again, fully defended. Uh, I feel like maybe I should just use Catalyst here. Now it's fine. Let's save it after the transformation, maybe. Okay. There's a word without it. It'll take too long to transform. Uh, let's upgrade everything and then piercing whale, flying knee, and slice. One of the few turns where I wasn't able to fully defend if I didn't have the piercing whale, of course. Oh, I still have a disarm, right? Yeah, maybe I should try to get that used. Perfect. And then sucker punch, flying knee. Now that I have the disarm, I might even consider playing another power. 14. Uh, let's do armaments. I don't need it. Let's do corpse explosion, poison stab. Okay. All right, so next turn, he's almost dead. Uh, let's do... Yeah, I think it's fine, right? If I do infinite blades and uh, heavy blade, that will be enough to kill. And he won't have any extra strength. Okay. All right, 40 incoming. Uh, one more minute. Uh, so I have 25, 50. Yeah, I'm fully defended here. Let's do... I don't think I'll do choke. Let's do bouncing flash. I still haven't played the catalyst, right? So let's hope for that. Make sure I have to calculate this right. 20, so yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good here. Okay. Less than a minute. Uh, brutality deflect. Uh, almost strike first. Then see what this gives me. Dagger spray and all out attack. Okay. Yeah, the extra poison I'm playing every turn is really useful. 30. Okay, that's, that's not good. I have... Uh, actually, I'm still fully defended technically. So let's do Shiv uh, Blade Dance, and then I think I'll do the Catalyst here. I am, yeah, 29. Perfect. Okay. 56 damage. Let's uh, speed this up. Very close to being able to fully defend it. Or, uh, very close to being able to perfect this one. Just need a few more attacks. Another 30 incoming. Sucker Punch is enough to kill. Phew. Okay. That's less than an hour, right? Five seconds. Good. I rushed at the end, but I felt confident that I was able to defend. I mean, potions. That, that was the big thing. Uh, 11.57. Yeah, that's not that great, right? I didn't miss the... I got lucky with the Act 2 and 3 bosses, honestly. Um, the Act 3 boss, I got lucky with the um, potions. And the Act 2 boss, I feel like generally I got lucky with the card draw. Uh, but yeah, missed the Act 1 boss. I think that was just... My deck was not defensive enough. Uh, also missed the leads. I think, I think if I had extra energy, I think just like yesterday where I went for the non-energy boss relics and people went for energy boss relics, were able to perfect way more elites. Um, so I do wonder if anybody... Was I offered an energy relic early on? So I did take the bell, which was very tempting. I'm not sure. The, the second boss relic wasn't... All of them didn't give you extra energy. I forget about the first one. Definitely let me know, let me know in the comments if you didn't go for bell. If I didn't go for the bell, though, I don't think I would have been able to get um, 50 relics. Because this alone gave me three, right? And I barely made it to, not 50, sorry, 25. I barely made it to 25. So uh, I would have lost the 50 points for my, like, shiny. And uh, if I hadn't perfected more than two elites, it wouldn't have been worth it, right? Uh, but yeah, I got Librarian, Speedster just barely. Um, I like shiny, as I said, Highlander. And yeah, only three out of the eight elites perfected. 11.57 is fine. Perfecting the Act 1 boss, as impossible as that seems to my deck, um, somebody else doing that would be 1257, which would be 11th place. I feel like I've gotten more than that. Oh, actually, so did Cedar Computer. Uh, so Pelt's got a little less than what I would have gotten if I perfected the, um, the first elite, uh, the first boss. So honestly, I'm, I'm a little surprised. Even, even just perfecting the first boss seems so difficult with this deck. I mean, I wasn't offered any, any good defensive cards early on. Maybe I, I did and I sort of ignored him. Let me know in the comments. These are really good scores now. I know that even if I perfected the last boss, I would have had um, not that great of a score. So yeah, let me know what you did here. If you were able to perfect the bosses or if it, if the, the secret wasn't perfecting all the elites. Because uh, I definitely didn't do that well in that department. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.